Aside, dudes. Aside. Aside. Today I want to talk about how I would make a Call of Duty. And obviously I don't mean that I could make a Call of Duty even if they gave me the tools required. I'm just saying, say I was in charge of the operation and I could decide what goes into the game. This is how it would be. So the main premise behind this game would be focus like it used to be entirely on guns and shooting and gun skill so things that don't take gun skill are not in the game such as shock charges trip mine c4 uh concussions frag i don't even want grenades but i don't i don't so much mind grenades but you, you get the point and as far as kill streaks go it would be entirely perk based like it was in Modern Warfare 3 specialist kind of I wouldn't even mind if say on like a 20 kill streak or 30 kill streak you even start getting a little more help and a little more uh, you kill a little faster and I know that'd be a bit overpowered but think of how fun it would be to uh, get those games where you're on a kill streak and then be able to just go even harder and harder and just you are the kill streak you're running around with your gun just massacring people and you're untouchable pretty much uh, and that you know would be a way to reward the player for getting a kill streak and it would still be fun for the player way more fun than pressing right on the d-pad and having some streak get the kills or even using the streak yourself way more fun than that because you're just running around with your gun but you're untouchable you know you're melting you're eating bullets you're just a tank basically i wouldn't even, i wouldn't mind if they did the the kill streaks like that but definitely perk based and as far as the actual perks would go, um, things that, they have a lot of perks in Call of Duty, right, that shouldn't be in the game purely because you're making someone spend points on their class or spend on a perk just to be able to run around. Like in older Call of Duty's unlimited sprint, why would that ever be a perk? You're, you should encourage people to run around the map. You should never make them spin points just to be able to run unlimitedly. And now, obviously, we have unlimited sprint. But you see my point. Same, same thing with Blast Suppressor. You can't put all these movements in a game and then punish people for moving. Blast Suppressor should be built in the game just like uh, unlimited sprint should be built in the game. Even agility, possibly. Ready up or fast hands in this game. That allows you to aim faster or ready your gun up faster after sprinting should be built in to promote rushing. You're not punishing people for running around the map. That's the main idea. That keeps people moving. That encourages people to run around. And that's how it should be. I don't see anyone who could disagree with that. And it amazes me to this day that those things are built in. Even quick draw should be built in, in my opinion. But that's that's debatable. But for sure, ready up in those other perks should be built into the game to promote people moving around the map. They also shouldn't make LMGs overpowered to promote people to camp really hard. Or um, shotguns shouldn't be too amazing close range. To, to uh, Like in this game, I'm sure you guys see a lot with the Marshall pistols and the shotguns, people just sitting and camping and waiting for you to, to run into them and then they blast you with a shotgun. This is what people don't understand, a lot of people don't understand about shotguns in real life. You can kill a lot further than you would think with a shotgun in real life. Even with a buckshot, um, you can kill up to like 50 yards with most shotguns. Maybe with a sawed off it's less. But with a slug round, I mean you can kill people from 100 yards with a slug round shotgun. Like. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know that and in Call of Duty that's not how it is. And with a buckshot in real life cl close range you have to be more accurate because the buckshot hasn't spread out right because obviously the the, lo the longer distance the buckshot travels it spreads out more and more so that's how it should be in call of duty to make it take more skill close range and be more useful long range you have to be accurate close range long range you don't have to be as accurate but it's better long range but obviously takes more shots and that's how shotguns should be in Call of Duty, but instead they're insanely overpowered close range, no one can, nothing can touch them, and then at long range they're useless. I would also obviously um, change the fact that Activision and whoever is catering towards these players, uh, a lot of kids maybe who can't really 
they have no control over how good their internet is you know these companies are making it easier and easier for players with bad internet and trying to balance it out and make it fair for the people who have the worst types of internet and in the process what they've done is put a lot of players who have good internet at a disadvantage from players who have bad internet I would obviously change that and do whatever to improve the the hit detection and connection I think it's the most important thing in Call of Duty I think it's the most overlooked thing in Call of Duty I think tons of people are at a huge disadvantage and they have no idea and a lot of people are at a pretty significant advantage and they have no idea and I know it's easy for anyone to sit and say uh, you know this and that should be done with Call of Duty but I want you guys to let me know what you think about these points I'm making because a lot of them I feel like no one really thinks about and a lot of them I, I don't really hear people bring a lot of these things up and I think you know most of them are impossible to actually argue against I think these are things that it's just factual like I know the companies know a lot of it but obviously they're making their game uh, profitable they're not worried about making it skill based they're worried about making it appeal to all the players, obviously, and the young folks and the people with good and bad internet, and the people with skill and without skill. But I think um, making the game like this would encourage people to get better at the game instead of rely on gravity spikes or whatever it is that they're relying on now in Black Ops 3. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you would change or what you would do if you could make a Call of Duty. And I'm sorry I haven't made a video in forever, guys. I actually still can't record gameplay. So I'm still uploading old gameplay even though I have new nuked outs and I beat Triarch Cupcake and I want to upload these gameplays, but they don't exist because they weren't saved. I can only do screenshots pretty much. So yeah, that sucks. But yeah, guys, um, see y'all in the next video. Peace.